Organic solvents are used in manufacturing displays or semiconductors. South Korea imports most of the solvents used for these processes. Until now, solvent has been single-use with up to 2 million tons a year of the substance discarded. But a new technology has been developed that means solvent is now recyclable. Lee Eun-jin has the details. In the process of completing the production of the integrated circuits of semiconductors, a solvent called methylperolidone is used. This is a solvent that's used in a variety of industries, including pharmaceuticals and industrial and domestic cleaning. In the final steps of production, this solvent needs to be filtered out by a separator and is then discarded. But existing molecular separation membranes have not been able to resist the harshness of highly toxic solvents, which means some 2 million tons of such organic solvents go to waste in a year. But now, a team of local researchers have developed a high-performance, solvent-resistant membrane from polybenzimidazole, a synthetic fiber which has also been dubbed a superplastic. In molecular separation, the permeability and selectivity of membranes are critical for efficient separation. Compared to existing membranes, test results showed a 78% increase in permeability, which indicates the efficiency of organic solvent discharge after filtering, as well as a 34% increase in selectivity, which indicates the filtering efficiency of the membrane. The new membrane was placed in a container of harsh solvents for over three weeks, and it showed resistance. Organic solvents like alcohol can be filtered through separator membranes, but harsh solvents can damage the separator. Now the separator membrane that this research has developed can withstand such solvents without being damaged. The greatest advantage that comes from this latest development is that organic solvent that is mostly imported does not need to go to waste and can be reused, making it economically and environmentally friendly. The research team aims to commercialize the new membrane by 2026. This study was published in the Journal of Membrane Science and Research, which is an international academic journal that specifically focuses on the science of separation membranes. Ian Jin, Arirang News.